Surprise, guys! A surprise episode. Um, I bet you thought I was gone for weeks again. <laughs> no, I was holding out uh, to bring you a special episode right here from Belfast in Northern Ireland. Um, and I don't know if I've done a proper video in Belfast, but this is going to be special because uh, it's Christmas and the markets are open. I know the weather is not the best, but here I am at Parking Hotel, right in the center of Belfast. Really, really nice quality hotel. Location is amazing. The rooms are big. I'm happy I picked it. And the prices compared to the same hotel in Dublin would really, really uh, surprise you, especially now with the pound versus euro rates and all of that. But hey, um, nobody cares about that. Um, but uh, so here, um, Europa Hotel, famous building. Um, why famous? Famous because in the trouble times, kind of up to 80s, uh, was bombed something like 27 times. You know, I mean, don't quote me on this, I could be lying, but um, somebody once told me on my first or second visit to Belfast, um, on, I have been here in Northern Ireland combined to all of my trips, shopping, culture, uh, events, uh, over 40 times and that's not a lie um, there is a town called Newry and it's like a 45 minute drive from Belf from Dublin where I used to live of course for 10 years and um, that was a really popular place for shopping um, when the pound and euro fluctuated and also you know because prices were a little bit cheaper and then there was one year where they dropped the VAT rate you know the value added tax on goods um, dropped it to um, I can't remember, I think, you know, 12.5% or something ridiculously low compared to 23% in the Republic, which is, it was never dropped, it was still the same, you know, so here they wanted to encourage the spending, and that's what they did, they dropped the VAT rate, then the price of pound kind of um, was favourable as well, and uh, lots and lots of Irish people came here to shop, including me, um, although, you know, I consider myself Irish because I have a citizenship um, for years now. Uh, I am Russian originally, and that's where I was born. However, I do not live in Russia for the last 17, 18 years. And, um, after this episode, we will go back to my 15 years in Ireland, where I go step by step. And um, I would tell you um, what I've been doing year by year in Ireland, um, between Cork and Dublin for 15 years. But for today, I'm in Belfast. My husband is at work here and uh, I've got the whole day to myself. And I've got my son with me. And um, what else do you need? Hmm, maybe some money. So I'm gonna go and get some cash. It's all pounds here. And don't be fooled when somebody tells you, you know, you can't use the pounds from England in Northern Ireland. It's all the same. Okay, they might be different. Uh, pictures, but you know, the, it's a legal tender, it's accepted in Northern Ireland and England. So, if you are traveling from England to Northern Ireland and you have some cash left over, you will absolutely be able to use it here and vice versa. Sorry, my son is a little bit sick and he got it from me because I was sick. And um, we, uh, you know, didn't expect that I would be sick for so long and never ever travel sick on the plane. Your ears will pop and block and it will be really really painful but you know my son loves planes and travel and go to different places so he was absolutely fine on the plane and as they say have baby will travel uh, I uh, I love bringing him everywhere with me you know um, he's uh, you know since becoming a mom almost six months ago it's uh, it's really I'm really really happy um, that my life hasn't changed you know some people say you know you have changed with the baby and stuff yeah you do become a little bit busier but it's just because i'm working on so many projects at any one time um since he was about three days old and i've never give up what i did or what i do i just loaded myself with more and more things but um hey a bit shaky camera but I uh, just wanted to give you a glimpse of this. There's a BBC next door. There's a Holiday Inn, also conveniently located. And we're not far from, like totally not far from the city hall where all the markets is gonna be. So um, we're gonna head there later. Right now I'm just gonna go get some cash and go um, 
grab some lunch somewhere and do some shopping you know i've got a day to myself maybe about five and then we're gonna go and grab dinner here at the parking downstairs so there am i around the corner it's express bbc nando's I know this area very well because that's where you end up when you drive from Dublin. Oh well, he's firmly asleep and I'm still walking. There's another BBC office here. Heading towards Belfast city centre. And I'm right beside Europa Hotel on my left. So pretty bad. He's getting better. And there is the hotel. Hard to believe that this is actual shopping mall. Yep. We like Harry Potter. in Belfast. <laughs> and there we are, the Christmas market around City Hall. Amazing buildings. Okay, it's really hard to film and uh, well this boy here Pretty cool.
I just had a slice of cake from this guy's. Delicious. The market is fabulous. I love it. I came here every year when I lived in Dublin. to haul. So I'm going back to the hotel as I get some work to do, get some work to do and I've done a bit of shopping. Uh, here we go. So I've got a cardigan and a jumper and I'm gonna go and try them on in a hotel.